Our first guest is a terrific, wonderful actress who made her film debut at 13. She's currently Emmy nominated for her role in Feud, Capote versus the Swans. It's available to stream right now on Hulu. Please welcome Diane Lane. <laughs> It's so great to have you here. Yeah, we watched you grow up. This is true. I'm what? still growing, though. You're still growing. <laughs> still learning. You have worked more than any other actress in the history of Hollywood. <laughs> Fair. I'll yeah. just run with that. Yeah. Uh, it, what was what's the longest amount of time you were not in a makeup chair getting ready to go in front of a camera? The longest <laughs> amount of time <laughs> you were <laughs> not. <laughs> Uh, ooh, probably, I think I got close to two years off at one point. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do in those two years? I was hanging with my mama in Georgia. We were eating a lot of bacon and <laughs> butter, and I was pregnant with my daughter and fixing the lawnmower and all we're kinds of things. Yeah, we're in Georgia. Washington County. Where's Washington County, Georgia? Well, there's a small town named Bartow, Georgia. Which Barstow or Bartow? Bartow. Uh huh. One horse town, uh -huh. and um, <laughs> and and it's where my grandmother's church used to be. Her church. She's a, she was a Pentecostal preacher. Really? Yes. So my my great grandmother, my grandmother, and my mother are all there, <laughs> and it's. Did she speak in tongues? Uh, yeah. She, have you ever played a role where you had to do that kind of a thing? Oh, I'd be scared. You would be because she'd be looking down, saying, "Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah." Uh. Well, I mean, you know, you gotta really toe the line. Yeah. When, when you emulate certain things, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. There was some famous person who was quoted saying, one should never be on camera seen praying or having sex. <laughs> and I don't have anything to add to that. Yeah. And, <laughs> and that person who said that was Linda Lovelace. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. What do you attribute your, your long career? Because it's not normal to have a career as long as you've had. I mean, uh, 13, your first feature film. Yeah. And then before that, you were on stage. Yes, yes, that's true. I mean, the era when Feud takes place, uh, Capote versus the Swans, is the 70s. Mm -hmm. And I remember 1975 and watching Truman Capote on shows like this, really kind of self-emulating with alcoholism. And, yeah. and it, it was a shock. I don't know if you ever saw the cover of the Esquire magazine. Oh, yeah, I have it right okay. here. Okay. Yeah, here it is. Okay, what he's what he's using for a nail f cleaning his nails yeah. with a switchblade, I think. Yeah. So it, it it really cast its pall over New York, and even as a ten year old, when the Swans were going to La Cote Basque, I was at Smiler's Deli eating honey buns. Wow. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know from nothing. Yeah. But where that was, was Smiler's, on TV. Where was Smiler's de Deli? Uh, right around the corner from Carnegie Deli. I grew oh, yeah. on the block of Carnegie Deli, but Carnegie Deli was a little more expensive. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, uh, you remember the, the talk shows? I remember those talk shows from the 70s and Truman Capote and all. Yeah. Were you familiar with the character you play in in? in uh, no, I, I didn't know the uh, elite socialites of Manhattan. I did not. Yeah. Uh, I thought you spelled Basque like B-A-S-K. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I know how to Basque. And, do, and what kind of research did you do on this character? Because you play Slim Keith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you know about her? I learned a lot about her. Um, I could say many things, but I, because I admire you so much, and <laughs> we, we, you know, knowing somebody's core wounds is important when you're going to play them. Yeah. And when I got to read her autobiography, I was fascinated about how it is that she had this steel will mm -hmm. to not let Truman Capote take her down. Mm -hmm. And essentially, she learned that strength of character by not letting her father force her to choose against her mother when she was growing up. Mm -hmm. That's a very tough position to be in. It's shocking. I know what it's like. I had that happen to me in my childhood. There will be a book. Oh, um, your book. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just... it's, it's always your mother, right? Well, no, I mean, it, there's just, I mean, Again, your your life is, we feel like we know 
so much about your life already because we've watched you grow up from childhood, that brilliant film, uh, A Fine Romance. A Little Romance. A Little Romance. But it was fine, too. It was a fine romance, too. <laughs> until, you know, uh, even watching you play older people, like in... Uh, I always play the age I am. Well, what's the, what's the movie about the well, horse? Well, unless I wear a gray, a gray wig sometimes. In, in the, in the uh, Secretariat... Oh, yes. You play an older person. Yes. Well, yeah. that got me into trouble because I wanted to wear the original wig, which actually had silver hair in it. I was trying to be authentic. Yeah. And um, we had a new head of the company who saw me in the stunt wig and said, oh, no, she looks so happy and young and sexy in this <laughs> other wig. And I thought, this wig is not appropriate. <laughs> this is the wig that the double's going to be in the distance with the horse. Yeah. Uh, if I had a nickel for every time I've said that... <laughs> If I could ever contribute to your one-liners, <laughs> I'm winning. Now, okay, now we talked about all these huge movies that you've done in this fabulous television show. Let's talk about the most important movie that you've done, Six Pack. Okay. With Kenny Rogers. Yay! <laughs> Thank you for bringing him up. I love Kenny Rogers. I love Kenny Rogers. Because you, you gotta his... know when to fold him. You gotta know <laughs> when to hold him. That's right. Now, what, do you have a fav what, favorite memory of working with Kenny Rogers? Well, he got my father and I in a helicopter to go to, what's that town in... in, in Rome, New Georgia? Jersey. No, New Jersey, huh. where, 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 where all the concerts are. And oh, oh, right, Metal, Meadowlands. Something like that. Yeah. But anyway, and so my father was mortified. He's like, I'm not going to get in a helicopter. He's been a cab driver. He's, yeah. You know, he's like, we'll take the train, whatever you need. Uh -huh. And he said, no, you don't understand. If I don't spend the money, I can't keep it. Oh, I, I love that. I have to fly people in. in yeah. This, yeah, and this he was helicopter. performing at this concert mm -hmm. in New Jersey. And he gave me a guitar. He was trying to help encourage me to play music. I, I thought was Six lovely, Pack was filmed man. in Georgia. Yes, but he came through New York. And okay. his largesse d'esprit, yeah. you know, he invited us to his show because he was in town. Was he a lovely person? Lovely man. Yeah. Yeah, big-hearted. I mean, the name of his production company was Lion's Share. Yeah. And back in the day, it was $5 to go to the movies. Oh, my God. And he got one of every one of those $5. <gasps> and I said, indeed, Lion's Share, yes. Wow. <laughs> he really did. Wow. But he's a Leo. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. And then, uh, and that, that was in Georgia. And, and so your family, did your grandmother get to come to set and watch you perform? No, grandma was gone by then. Yeah. But my mom... Came. So I turned 17 on that, and then I went right into Outsiders in Tulsa. So I just stayed in the South for a while. And then do you, you do your own songs in uh, Streets of Fire? No, no you no. didn't. Who was the voice? Many people. Okay. And different people will tell you accurately that they were the person who was <laughs> my voice. It was a melange de je ne sais quoi. I don't know. They, it was a big Jimmy Iovine production. There was a lot of... A lot of irons in the fire. There. See, because we we were fam familiar with the movie so much because of MTV and all mm -hmm. the songs from that movie okay. were on MTV. Yes. And it was. Uh, yeah. do, do hey, you... Armani did the costumes. You know what I'm saying? Armani did yes. the costumes. Yes. Oh my! Who and did I... this right here? Oh, Saint Gosset. If I'm saying it right. Okay. You look absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Well, you brought it, and you brought it well. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're going to talk more. We'll be right back after this. How about this for truth? I'm suing you for defamation. And if you want more legal woes, send Babe an invitation to your sorry little party. I dare you. Slim, get real, dear. You were all immortalized by me. Admit you actually appreciate the... Appreciate the what? the philandering men, the idle, shallow, pornographic women. You told more lies to hurt people than... Who does that? You never let the truth get in the way of a good story. <laughs> that's, the, that's the whole show right there. Don't let the truth get in the way of a good story. Yeah, that is what it's all about right there, <laughs> you know? Uh, it's made Truman Capote. Uh, Isn't you... Tom Hollander wonderful? He is divine. And Naomi as Babe. Oh I my mean, gosh! I Were love you... their work and their show. And Treat Williams. Yeah, bless, yeah. Bless. Were you friends with the ladies, the other Swans before? Yes, we had fun. Yeah. Were you friends with them before you started filming? No, we had so many close associations. You yeah. know, it's almost like your siblings just by association. Yeah. 
when you when you're in this business, as you know, it's kind of like a big circus family. It is like a big circus family because mm -hmm. I know your father was a, an acting coach. Um, he was a teacher. Of acting. Was a teacher. Yeah. He and John Cassavetes. In fact, God bless Jenna Rollins. May mm -hmm. she rest in peace. Yeah. <laughs> Gloria forever. Gloria forever. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. They were all they were all buddies in the fifties. Really, with yeah. Peter Falk and yes. and all those yeah. those guys. And so, um, did your father uh, teach you how to go on a set and and d d ask for what you needed? No, he tried. And you know, the cobbler's children have no shoes. I wouldn't <laughs> take any advice. God forbid I could learn anything from my father, who was a professional teacher. Um, no, I was very shy around him. He would try to help me prepare for auditions and. I would only let him get me so far. I was a mm. terrible auditioner, I think. I don't think I got many jobs from auditioning. Yet you have been in the business forever. What, what do you think, what do you think casting Methuselah. directors? Methuselah. Well, yes, well, there's <laughs> that too. But you still look gorgeous. Thanks. Absolutely Thanks. gorgeous. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> I credit her. We're gonna keep those jeans going as long you, as we can. You know, I, I was out of the country recently and I, I started watching, uh, uh, um, the Rom the um, movie about the the Russian family. Um, Romanovs. Romanovs. Okay. Again, I started watching that again. Okay. You're marvelous in that. How sweet are you? No, it's the truth. Thank I'm you. totally speaking the truth up in here. <laughs> Thank you, Rue. Yeah, and in House of Cards, mm -hmm. what was that like? That was a wild ride. Um, you know, all I, all I really want to say is that it was my first foray into se uh, limited series where. And, and also coming on to a show that was completely evolved. So you have to fit into their world. Mm -hmm. And so I couldn't stray too far with how my appearance was or anything. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you know, you have to be in that world. And it's great when you can see the show and you say, okay, I know exactly how I have to yeah. scooch into, it's like yeah. being late to school. Yeah. You know, you come in the middle of the year. Hi, I'm here. I'm just gonna play my little part. <laughs> I know you all are good friends, and I'm just here for this little while. But um, no, they they embrace you, and, and you get to cozy up pretty well, quick. You, you you did it so well, and the character has so much grit to it. I just love it. And the same with uh, your character on Feud, uh, Capote versus the Swans, which is available to see right now on Hulu. Thank you, Diane Lane. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>